Hello all and welcome back. In this video, we are going to encrypt an unencrypted RDS database. Amazon RDS supports data at rest encryption as well as data in transit encryption. However, there are some limitations in terms of RDS data at rest encryption. You can only encrypt an Amazon RDS DB instance when you create it and not after the DB instance is created. You can't turn off encryption on an encrypted database. You can't create an encrypted snapshot of an unencrypted DB instance. Also, you can't restore an unencrypted backup or a snapshot to an encrypted DB instance. A snapshot of the encrypted DB instance must be encrypted using the same KMS key as the DB instance. You can't have an encrypted read replica of an unencrypted DB instance or an unencrypted read replica of an encrypted DB instance. You can't encrypt an encrypted DB instance. However, you can export data from an encrypted DB instance and import the data into an encrypted DB instance. For encrypting an existing unencrypted DB database, you can have the following approaches. Using snapshots. However, this option is feasible only if you can afford a downtime. Or, for minimal to no downtime, you can use the database migration service to migrate and continuously replicate the data so that the cutover to the new encrypted database can be seamless with minimal downtime. Let's navigate to the RDS console. Click on the databases. We already have an RDS demo DB created in the free tier. Let's navigate to the DB configuration and check on the encryption status. The encryption is not enabled for this database. RDS encryption can be enabled only during the creation of an RDS DB instance and not after the DB instance is created. We are going to follow the following steps to encrypt the unencrypted database. First, create a snapshot of the database. The snapshot of an unencrypted database would also be unencrypted. Then we would encrypt a copy of the unencrypted DB snapshot. And lastly, we would restore the encrypted DB snapshot as an encrypted RDS DB instance. Let's get started. Let's first create a snapshot for the RDS database. You can also use an existing backup or a snapshot. Your DB instance must be in the available state before you take a DB snapshot. From the actions, select take snapshot. The snapshot type would be DB instance. RDS demo DB as the source DB instance. Let's name the snapshot as RDS demo DB snapshot. Let's go ahead and create our snapshot. The snapshot is in the creating status. Let's wait for it to be completed. We have the snapshot creation time and the status is now available. Let's check on the snapshot details. The snapshot is not encrypted 
and it does not have an KMS key associated with it. Remember, you cannot create an encrypted DB from an unencrypted snapshot. So moving to our second step, we will now copy the snapshot to create an encrypted snapshot. Let's go to actions and select copy snapshot. Source DB snapshot is the one that we just created. Let's enter RDS demo DB snapshot encrypted for the encrypted DB snapshot identifier. You can copy the snapshot within the same region or cross region as well. Remember snapshots are regional. So you can restore a DB from the snapshot only in the region where the snapshot resides. For now we would copy it in the same region and select the North Virginia US East 1 region. No preference for the target DB option group. To encrypt the snapshot Let's ensure we check enable encryption and we can select the KMS key which we are fine with the default RDS KMS key. Let's go ahead and copy our snapshot. We now have two snapshots, one unencrypted and the other encrypted. The encrypted snapshot is in the creating status and we have the snapshot creation time and the status is available for the encrypted snapshot as well. Moving to the third step now, we are going to restore the encrypted snapshot as an encrypted DB instance. Let's select the encrypted snapshot from the actions menu, select restore snapshot. Now encrypted DB snapshot can only be restored as encrypted DB instance with the same KMS key as the DB snapshot. On the snapshot restore page, for DB instance settings, Leave the DB engine to MySQL community. For availability and durability, we would configure the DB instance as a single DB instance. Under settings, it shows the DB snapshot from which the DB would be restored. For DB instance identifier, let's enter RDS demo DB encrypted. For instance configuration, let's select burstable classes and T3 micro. For storage, leave it general purpose SSD with allocated storage of 20 GB. Within the connectivity, we would set the VPC and subnet group. We'll have the VPC A selected and the RDS demo subnet group as well. Public access disabled, default security group which allows all inbound and outbound. No preference for the availability group and the port set to 3306. Password authentication for database authentication. And under the encryption section, enable encryption is checked. And you cannot modify the same. Also the KMS key is the default RDS KMS key. Leave the additional configuration as default. And let's go ahead and restore our DB instance. You will be brought back to the database dashboard page. And you can now see the original source DB as well as the restored encrypted DB. 
Let's navigate to the DB configuration and check on the encryption status. And the encryption is enabled for the database. So that's it for the RDS encryption demo where we encrypted an existing unencrypted DB instance. I hope you liked it. Thank you all. All right, that was it. Thank you for watching. You can check out my website and connect me on LinkedIn and Twitter. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For any feedback, please leave a comment down below. To see more videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. Thank you.